guys, today I'm playing my favorite video game, Pac-Man. Oh, no, no, oh, 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 I'm running away, I'm running away, no! Oh, I lost, that was so easy, how did I lose? Hmm, I'm gonna ask Daddy for help. Daddy! What is it, Ryan? I'm playing Pac-Man, but I keep losing. Ah, that's because lack of your focus. I used to have the same problem when I was little. Okay, but what did you do to gain focus? Actually, Peck the Penguin trained me to focus. Why don't you ask Peck for help? Okay, I'm gonna go ask Peck for help. Ooh. Peck, Peck, are you there? I need help. Whoa, hey Ryan, I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> what can I help you with? So, I've been trying to play this game, but I keep losing. And Daddy said that I have lack of focus, so I need to train it somehow. Can you help me? Oh, of course. How about a Buzzwire Super Challenge focusing game to help you train? <laughs> okay, Peck. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ask Bree for some help on this experiment. Meanwhile, you should practice focusing and meditate. Okay. Heck, you rang? Oh good, now that you're here, you can build the ultimate Buzzwire game challenge. Buzzwire game? Uh... Using a simple circuit, we're going to build a game of focus and concentration. That sounds like a great idea, but first, I think we should learn how to make a circuit. Let's go! A simple circuit consists of four main parts. A conductor, an energy source, an electrical load, and a switch. To make a completed circuit, the conductor wire needs to connect the negative side of the energy source, or battery, to the negative side of the electrical load, which in our experiment is a light bulb and buzzer. Then, the conductor wire needs to connect the positive side of our battery to the switch and the switch to our light bulb and buzzer. Now all that it takes is for the switch to close the circuit and BAM! We have power! This works because the energy flows from the negative side of the battery through the wire and to the light bulb and buzzer. Some of the energy is converted to power. The rest flows through the wire and the switch back to the positive side of the battery. When the switch is turned off, the circuit is broken and there's no power because there's a break in the flow of electricity. Let's see. On, off, on, off. All right, now that you know how it works, let's start our build. All right, now the four main parts of our circuit is this wire, which is going to be our conductor, this battery, which is going to be our energy source, the light bulb and the buzzer, which is gonna be our electrical load, and this wire, which we're gonna use as our switch. Now, Peck is doing his midday meditation right now, so we are gonna go ahead and get started with the face and the structure of our build. We are gonna use hot glue and cardboard. Meditating. Um. So we're gonna start by plotting out all of our cardboard pieces to make our base and our structure. The first part is going to be the main part of our base. That's why it's gonna be so big, because we have to put everything on it. And then we're gonna make a little stand for our base using these two skinny pieces. And lastly, we're gonna make the walls for the outside. So now that we have all of our pieces bright and colorful, it's time to start our assembly. We are gonna stick everything together with hot glue. Now, if you're gonna use hot glue, make sure to ask an adult for help. It's really hot. I mean, that's in the name. I wonder if Bree is doing okay. The first thing we're gonna glue together is the base for our game. Now, we are gonna take these yellow strips and glue them on the back side like this. Now we're just gonna hold it in place while the glue dries. One side down, one more to go. Uh-oh, we're getting glue everywhere. This is why it's important to ask an adult for help. Now that that is good and dry, we have our base built. Now all that's left is to add the walls. Thank you. 
Everything is nice and dry, which means our base is built. Now it's time to build our circuit. So we're gonna start by connecting our two positive wires that's gonna run from our battery to our light bulb. Now we need a good, tight, secure connection. So we're gonna twist and twist and twist and twist until it's nice and secure. Let's check it. Ooh, that is really nice and secure. Now we're going to route our combined positive wires into the positive section of the light bulb and carefully twist it around the screw. There we go, bend it around. Now that we have it bent around our screw, we're going to tighten our screw to secure that connection in place. After that's tightened, we should have a really nice secure connection. Let's test it. <gasps> yep, that feels good. So now we have our positive wires connected to the positive side of the light bulb. Now we're gonna take the positive wire that we connected to our light bulb and we're gonna connect it to the positive wire from our buzzer. To do this, we're going to have to do the same thing. Twist and twist and twist and twist and twist some more until we get a nice secure connection. So now that that is secure, we're gonna fold it in half just to make it extra secure and then we are going to make it extra, extra secure with some electrical tape. So we're gonna wrap it nice and tight to help hold our connection in place. Next, we're gonna take our negative wire from the buzzer and attach it to, you guessed it, the negative side of the light bulb. We're gonna do the exact same thing, thread it around the screw, and now we tighten up our screw to secure our connection. Once that's nice and secure, we're ready to attach it to our board. So now we have our circuit wired up. We've got our energy source, our electrical load, we have our conductor, which is the positive and negative wires connecting it all together. All that's left is a switch to turn it on. So if we take this wire and we use it as a switch and connect it, the circuit is complete. Now let's take our circuit and stick it to the base. All right, everything looks good, but this circuit is definitely not gonna help us improve our focus. But you know what will? <gasps> Adding lots of twists and turns right in the middle of our circuit. In order to make this thing ultimate, this is gonna take a while. Uh, maybe come back later. One hour later. Ta-da! I have finished all of these twists and turns and ups and downs to create the ultimate focus challenge buzz wire game. This bad boy is gonna take some big focus to get through. As you can see, I poked little holes in the wall for the wire to go through. Now we're gonna make our switch. Now for this switch, we're gonna use a straw and copper wire. So we're gonna start by cutting our copper wire. Remember kids, ask an adult for help, especially when working with wire and things like that. Now I'm gonna use this glue stick to make a perfect little loop. We're just using it to shape our switch. There you go, that looks like a circle. Now we're gonna twist and twist and twist and twist and twist and twist and perfect. There we go, ooh. So now that we have our loop, we're gonna thread it through our handle, which is this straw, and all that's left is to bend the end up and secure it in place. Now we have our switch. Now we're going to put our switch in place, just like that. Ta-da! Now that our switch is in place, we've bent the wire using pliers and we're hot gluing it to keep everything in place. Now let's connect our coil to our circuit. We are going to use a negative wire to connect to the end of our coil. Once we have it connected and looped around, we're gonna hold it in place with some electrical tape. 
So after we have our wire nice and secure here, we need to secure our two negative wires from the battery and the coil together. So we are going to twist and twist and twist and twist and twist some more and make sure that connection is nice and secure. We're gonna use more electrical tape to wrap around the beginning of our coil. This will allow for a break in the circuit and the start of our game. Ta-da! Now for my favorite part, decorations. The decorations are done. We added a start line. We added a focus meter, which shows being not at all focused all the way to focused. And then we finished it off with the finish line. All that's left now is to complete our circuit using these alligator clips. Hello, alligator. What's going on? So first, we're going to take our alligator clip and connect it to the negative side of the light. Make sure it's nice and secure. That's not going anywhere. And then we're gonna connect our alligator clip to the bottom of our switch, making sure that it has good contact with the metal, just like that. And now it is complete. Oh gosh, I'm so ready and focused. Are we ready to start? Uh, I think we're ready to test it out. All right, let's test it out. That means it's time to get focused. <sighs> okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Extreme focus to the max. Dun 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 The buzzer works! Woohoo! Well, I'm obviously not very focused, but I think it's safe to say that this works and it is ready to go to Ryan. Excellent! The machine is ready to go! Let's zap it over! Mm-hmm. Three, two, one, whoa! Whoa! I really hope that that helps Ryan learn to focus. Yeah! Hey Ryan, it's back here. You still there? Yeah, I've been waiting this whole time. Okay, well, the experiment was a success. And now, it's on its way. Here it comes. Okay. Whoa, this is so cool. I'm gonna ask my daddy to train with me. Daddy? Whoa, what is this? Look, Daddy, this is the super ultimate buzz wire game. Whoa. Pick said it can help me train my focusing. Uh, you go first. Okay, so I'm thinking you hold the stick, right? And then you have to go through these wires without touching, letting your stick touch the wire, I think. So once you touch it, make a sound and write. Okay, okay. okay. So, I'll go serious now. Ready? Let's see how far you can focus, make it. Focus, 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 focus. All right, here we go. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Start it. It's okay to take it slow. Okay, okay, okay. Slowly but steady. It's not gonna make a sound. Whoa! Don't shake it, Ryan. Stop shaking it, please. Oh, oh, ah! Oh. Please don't shake it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, you're making it far. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, no. oh. oh, Okay, you're almost. Okay, you're about. Mm. Okay, you're on the second rating. Oh, oh. <laughs> Did it go? Oh, okay, that's where I lost. Okay, Daddy. Well, it's my turn to train. <laughs> so easy, guys. <laughs> Easy, 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 lemon squeezy. How do you do this part? Oh my god. <laughs> Not so easy, huh? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, it's okay to take it slow. Oh! 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 <laughs> Steady. Oh! Ah. Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's hard, huh? Oh! Oh! Oh. 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 Well, okay, mean, it's all. Right. <laughs> no, you, you already <laughs> rang so many times. Now it's stuck. 
All right, guys, my turn again. This time, I'm gonna give you ultimate focus. I'm not gonna even talk after this. Oh, oh. Mm. Stop it, please. Mm. Oh. Oh, ultimate focus, ultimate focus, ultimate focus. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing. I oh, didn't hear nothing. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, oh. Uh, I'm stuck here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So we both need to practice a lot. But thank you, Peck, for giving us this ultimate buzzer device training. Mabuffer, focus. Ryan is super good at focusing. A super mabuffer oh, mechanic. <laughs> not good. Not good. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, mm -hmm. please give us a thumbs up. Bye -bye. <laughs> Can he finish it? I made it! Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. The device saying, no, you did not finish it. You did not, you did not finish it. Bye! Bye.